Many students here at City Tech either have not been informed or do not take advantage of the resources that are available to them. There is a lot to keep track of, whether it's your grades and credits, or simply knowing what you need to do in order to reach graduation. As part of the Getting Degree project, we aim to keep students motivated and well equipped to make the best of their college experience. Did you know that City Tech has a college catalog? Uh, I did, I don't know where it is. Did you know that City Tech has a college catalog? Uh, no. Did you know that City Tech has a college catalog? Um, I was aware of it, I think. <laughs> I've heard of it before. Have you ever used the college catalog? Oh, okay. yeah. No, no, no. Not really. Do you know who the head of your department are? Yes. 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 Professor Beale. <laughs> I don't know if anybody cares. It's not necessary. Do you know who the head of your department is? Nope. Do you know what classes you need to take in order to graduate? No. Do you know what classes you need in order to graduate? Um, for the most part, but not all. City Tech has a college catalog that is easily accessible through the college's website. On it, you'll find information on classes, majors, degree requirements, and everything you need to know in order to graduate. If you still have questions, there is contact information for each department where you can get in touch with someone directly. Do you know how many credits you need to graduate? Uh, if I looked at my paper, but not all okay. This is based on the degree you are taking. It will take 60 credits for an associate's degree and 120 credits for a bachelor's degree. Do you know if you fulfilled your writing intensive requirements? Yes, I need to fill, I need to fill more. Just two more. Do you know if you fulfilled your writing intensive requirements? Uh, I do know what they are, but I have not fulfilled them. For both an associate's and bachelor's degrees, you need to complete writing intensive courses. Two for an associate's and four for a bachelor's. Do you know what Pathways is? No. Do you know what Pathways is? Yes. yes. No, what is it? No. 2013. That means oh, you can go to a different community campus to take so a course. Really? Is it an e-permit? No, no, no. Pathways? Pathways? Well, actually, no. Actually, no. Pathways is... It's a system. It's a system of how you do things. It's a transfer system. Yes, a transfer system. It's when you transfer um, at a certain point, like you probably either have a degree, either associate's or a bachelor's, and then it's just like a fast track. You have a certain track where you have to take certain credits, certain program to fit that criteria. Oh. Okay. The Pathways Initiative establishes parameters for a shared core curriculum and helps students advance toward degrees. The system allows CUNY to have a common standard of basic classes that makes credits easily transferable between schools. Do you know about CUNY Degree Works? No, not really. Do you know about CUNY Degree Works? CUNY Degree Works, no. Degree Works is a web-based application that allows students to view their progress towards a degree. It can be accessed through the CUNY portal. What types of study habits do you have? I'm sorry, what's the question? What Lottery. Lottery. Study habits? Lottery. Study habits? Yeah. Procrastination. Procrastination. I, at this point, I have no study yes. habits. I've given up on them. Yeah, I got senior writers. Me too. I'm kind of nice. What is the question? I got college <laughs> Ever since I started. Past 12 a.m. school I am. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and started. Google. <laughs> Starbucks. Overnight, long, uh, all-nighters. <laughs> study hat. Do you have any study hat? Party Reading all day. Train? Study oh. all night. Quizlet. Yeah. 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 Quizlet yeah. on the phone. Yeah. What tips would you recommend to other students in Ooh. terms of studying? Don't procrastinate. Yeah. Well, you can't don't say be that. Like no, me. Nobody's gonna listen to you. Start studying a week ahead. Like read a chapter at least. That's not the no. From semester, from the beginning. Try to of the, write a paper. Yes, a pay every day day or every other day. If you have like a big like, paper, that's do it. Don't leave it for last minute. That's from the beginning of the semester. You start reviewing all slides. Once you leave the class, start reviewing little by little. Go by little. You don't have to cram. Yeah. I think prioritize. Somebody said that. That's probably like. Actually, yeah. What types of study habits do you have? Study habits, procrastination. Yeah, procrastination. What tips would you recommend to other students in terms of studying? Oh, like in terms of studying, like you should like like you somehow like if you need help, ask the computer because the has everything and uh, go to tutoring. Um. One, one of the study good, good study tips for me, don't frustrate, blah, blah. Don't frustrate, you do your best. Um, if you need help, ask the professor, even the professor in the room. 
what types of study habits do you have? Um, it depends on what class. Like, if I'm doing something that has to do with history or like, like math and formulas and stuff, I'll write out chronologically and like I'll read it and read it and read it and that's it. Um, usually, if it's like math, I write the formulas and do the hardest thing that I don't that I don't know and then I try to build on that. But I haven't had math since like the first semester, and I this is my last semester of history, and then I'm just taking like hands-on work, design courses, computer work, things like that. So um, that's that's my go-to for studying. Other than that, I don't study. <laughs> what tips would you could recommend to other students in terms of studying? Um, take good notes. Take very good notes because by the time you try to go back, day one will seem like you didn't do that. It wouldn't make sense to you. You'd be reading it like, oh, five minutes of class, I guess. Okay, then you won't have anything to study. What types of study habits do you have? Horrible. Mm -hmm. The worst. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tips to rec that you would recommend uh, to other students in terms of studying? Uh, definitely find out the resources the school has because I know it's really helpful. What types of study habits do you have? Oh. I don't really have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, I try to study, you know, basically try something to be honest. What tips would you recommend to other students in terms of studying? Uh, in terms of study, I say if, once they announce the test, to study like little bit, like little by little, like until like the day of the test. What type of study habits do you have? I don't really have study habits. Um, Red Bull some type of sweet something and pulling an all-nighter um and you know sometimes if i do have time i do try to like stretch my studying out but that really happens because procrastination is key in college what tips would you recommend to other students in terms of studying um don't fall into the typical habit of just procrastinating uh stretch your use your time wisely you know if you can take an hour once a week or like every other day to just sit down and go through your notes and make sure you have it chapter by chapter, that'll be your best bet because it doesn't make sense to wait till the day before the final to try to learn a semester's worth of work. Thank you for watching. For more information, check out hashtag NYCCT and hashtag Keys to College. For more on study tips, check out the Getting the Degree podcast.